What's going on guys? We are live with some Deception 3 Dark Delusion on the PlayStation 1. So in the last stream, we almost finished the game after a lot of struggle. <laughs> we are on chapter 24 now, which should be the final chapter. Um, I don't know how much longer we have. I, If I remember right last time I played this, the last few times I played this, there's only one more battle before the game is done. So... Hopefully we won't have too much trouble with that and after that we'll go maybe try expert mode and see how we how we do with that. But yeah, so we have one more battle most likely. And as you can see here, I am about to buy the cold vacuum, which is something I've been wanting to to buy, but I haven't had enough Drake until now. So this will suck in victims and freeze them, which should be really handy. I don't know if it freezes them solid though. It doesn't really specify. I don't know if maybe it just slows them down, or if it just freezes them solid. I'd prefer solid, but slow down would be cool as well. And I also added the charge ring to it, which will make it recharge a lot faster. So that'll be handy. But anyway, let's make this. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will come in handy. All right, show me what I what I got. <laughs> show me the trap. There it is, the cold vacuum. Well, that definitely looks like it freezes them into a solid block. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. I like that. So, I assume if I hit them with a pendulum or something, it'll just break the ice and send them flying. Hopefully, hopefully the pendulum doesn't just stop short on the iceberg, but. We'll see what happens. Really looking forward to trying this thing out. Okay, go to trap equipping. Let's equip this thing. I think I'm gonna replace my regular summoning vacuum with the cold vacuum. Yeah, because I want to keep the thunder claw. Although I don't need the bear trap, so I could replace it with that, I suppose. But I think I'll like the cold vacuum more than the panic vacuum. Just because it'll recharge faster. And usually the vacuum affects everyone. Whereas the summoning doesn't always work. And the summoning delays the vacuum on the panic vacuum. So I don't know. We'll see. Alright, we're all set. Let's get this thing started. Chapter 24, back to the beginning. As you might remember if you watched the last stream, I just went back in time. I forget why. <laughs> I don't pay too much attention to the storyline, but to the past. To the point in time. Alright, I'm just gonna skip this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's the last chapter, but I've been skipping the cutscenes the entire game so far, so. Although they forced me to watch the cutscenes in the last chapter, at the end of the last chapter. But I guess these cutscenes aren't as, as important, apparently. <laughs> well, because I don't have to make a choice here. Before, I had to make a choice, so that's probably why they made you watch the cutscenes, so you know what you're choosing. The king and queen preside no longer in this world. The heroine reunites with her family, but there she finds another, finds another herself. Some of the translations in this game. <laughs> she finds another herself. I believe it means she found another of herself, another younger version of herself, and dot dot dot. Okay then, um... Yeah, so this guy is attacking me. Can I go out here? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, it froze there for a second. I don't know what that was all about. There's another guy over there. I would like a room that has a decent amount of space in it. Ooh, this looks pretty good. Ooh, I like the look of that spinning wheel thing over there. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'll be taking advantage of that thing. What is that called? That is called a thresher. Nice. Okay. Alright, so we're going to try out our new cold vacuum. We'll put that right in front of the thresher. And we'll use our chain needle. Uh, can I put the chain needle facing towards the thresher? I think I can. Oh, I have to put it up there. Won't let me put it down below. Okay, well, if the vacuum freezes them, then I assume the chain needles won't move them. Unless it breaks the ice, I don't know. See, I don't think I've ever made a trap that freezes people in this game. So I don't know what it's supposed to be like. But we're about to find out. Alright, so I guess we want to use the Thor hammer. And that'll throw him into the thresher. Perfect. Alright. I don't know if the vacuum's going to work on this guy because he hovers. But we'll see what happens. Nope. Is he going to teleport? No, he's going to shoot bombs at me. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think I need to go with the summoning vacuum. Oh, shoot. This is not going well. <laughs> okay, I'm going to replace the cold vacuum for now as much as I don't want to. I'll replace it with the panic vacuum. Didn't it say there was a healing crystal in here somewhere? Yes. No. No, that's my thing. Where is it? There it is. That's much better. Okay, I need to get this guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! And he's going out the... Oh, jeez. This is not going well. Well, at least I got him with a chain needle. <laughs> I got the other guy, too. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try the... Thunderclaw. That might be better. This guy just shoots me no matter where I am in the room. Oh, man. I hate magicians in this game. Any, any enemies that do ranged attacks, I hate them. So annoying. Uh, okay. I guess this is how we're gonna do it. What's it doing? It's still playing out a cutscene. Am I supposed to die? I think this is a possible ending. Dying at the end. Not the ending I want, though. <laughs> what is this? Did Cecilia fail? Impossible. They can't be aware of it. Wait. The girl's precious stone. I'll take it. Oh, fine. Kill me and then take my jewelry. Real nice. <laughs> So it won't let me skip this cutscene, so... Gotta let it play out. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the possible endings. This is a bad ending, because I died, obviously.
so I changed the timeline, so a bunch of people are disappearing now. So I think that stone thing gives you control over time as well, in some capacity. I don't know. Like I said, I've never really followed the story too much. It's kind of all over the place. Well, yeah, that's the end of the game there for the bad ending, anyway. I assume that was a bad ending. I don't know. Yes, the ending number two clear. I got the killer top. And bonus drake. No, I don't want to save. Because I want to try that again. And hopefully not die this time. See, it's a bit more of a pain when you die on the last chapter. Since... We have to go through all this again just to try again. To exit and reload your game. So I need to rethink my strategy. Okay, so I think I need to make my trap again. Even though that didn't work out so well. But it should work on most enemies, it just doesn't work on that one guy. I'm gonna try the summoning bear trap, or maybe I won't even try and trap him at all. Might be best just to try and get him at the bottom of the steps and then drop the flaming boulder on him. At least just for that first guy, the magician. Hopefully, I can get rid of him. Okay, floor trap. A cold vacuum in place of the regular bear trap. Okay, can I save here? Yeah. Okay, I'll save. That way I don't have to make that trap again in case I have to restart. I'm only going to retry a certain amount of times. <laughs> Maybe one more time after this if I end up dying again. I'm not going to take up the whole stream with me dying like I did last time. <laughs> that was terrible. Alright, here we go. Back to the beginning. Or back to the end as the case may be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got the idea. Okay. So I'm gonna run out that door. It always freezes there when it's loading. Are you kidding me? Oh, I have a feeling this guy is going to be the bane of my existence. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'll put a bear trap. A thunderclaw at the bottom of the steps. 
just for the heck of it. Put a flare rock right here and chain needle. Should I put it here? No. I'm gonna put that here. Okay, so now he'll come in the door at the top, I think. Yeah, they're both coming in the door at the top. So as long as they come down these steps, I'll be golden. Which I probably should have put the flare rock. I'm gonna put that higher. Probably not a good idea to do that right now, but. <laughs> oh! I forgot about the fact that the flare rock explodes. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, I'm doing a decent amount of damage to him, so hopefully. He'll be taken care of soon enough. Man. Okay, I got him with the chain needle again. Oh, he's at the bottom of the steps? I didn't realize the other guy was there too. Okay, are they gonna come up the steps again? Yeah, there we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He caught the rock? Come on! Alright, where'd the- oh, jeez! How did he get behind me? Oh, I hate these guys so much. Alright, I'm gonna go down here. Going down here, going down here, don't kill me. Okay, I'm gonna get him... Well, never mind. Alright, I should be able to finish this guy off with the flare rock. Okay, he's dead. He's not the one I care about, though. <laughs> what did that guy do? It looked like he was trying to charge into it. Not a good idea. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, thank goodness he's dead. All right, a couple more to deal with now. Where are they coming in? Looks like they're coming in the bottom door, which is good. I should probably grab this now, just in case. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to use my vacuum now. Hopefully the cold vacuum will actually work on them now. I wanted to use that thing, though. But it's a little late. I want to... Okay, get him in the into that. Ooh, ooh, I got both of them. Sweet. They're going to freeze in a second. Then I'll hit him with the chain needle. Flare rock. Wow, it pushes them out of the ice? Unless he wasn't frozen and she was. That might be what it is. Okay, doing pretty good so far. The vacuum affects both of them, so it's perfect. It does freeze both of them. But for some reason, the chain needle pushes them out of the ice, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And she jumps out of the way of the flare rock. Come on. Alright, I'm going to move my traps. I want to get them over to... This thing here. Uh, I have the traps still restarting. I want to put the chain needle on the other side. Yeah, the flare rock is still going. Need to wait on that. Okay. Okay, 
Come on. There we go. All right. Thor hammer right here. All right, I gotta get him to turn around and go the other way. No, 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 no. Don't come over here. Come down the steps. Come back down. Why are you going up there? You stupid enemies. Why are you going that way? That's the long way. What, is he turning around now? No, he's still not turning around. Well, whatever. I don't care. Do whatever you want. <laughs> as long as you go over where my cold vacuum is, I'm perfectly fine. Did he... Come on! Oh, man. There we go. Get in there. Alright, that'll keep him in place for now. And that's gonna hit her. Right into the spinning thrasher. I love it. Okay, she's dead. Alright, we're doing really well so far. Just gotta get this guy now. Are there no more enemies? This might be the last guy. Okay, just gotta get him. Man, he's just out of range. Shoot! No! It's not what I wanted. Great. Well, I killed him. Not the way I wanted to kill him. But I killed him. And that's what counts. Unbelievable strength. Too strong. Yep. I am pretty strong. <laughs> oh, okay. There is one more. Miguel. He's one of the main characters. So we'll see how it goes with him. He is coming in... Oh, right there. Hello. Does the vacuum affect him? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. There we go. Right into the thrasher. Perfect. Did he seriously get... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He's being juggled between the hammer and the thrasher. Oh, that worked out so much better than I thought it would. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't realize the thrasher would throw him up in the air like that. That is wonderful. I love that. <laughs> Alright, come here, pal. Get back in there. We're gonna do our juggling act again. Freeze him up. I really wish the ice would keep him in place so I could use my chain needle. <laughs> oh, this is so great. And it's gonna hit him again. Oh, this is so fantastic. Oh, he's still going. Man, if that hammer went for longer, that might have just infinitely looped. <laughs> I love it. Oh man, I killed the main boss in the game in two seconds. Oh, I love it. I love this game so much. <laughs> yes! Happy ending! It's hard to believe, but you must be Reyna. Oh, Mother. I'm so glad you believe. Mother! Reyna! Ah, it's so nice. Reyna, you are Reyna, my sweet, dearest daughter. Or dear, sweet daughter, whatever. <laughs> Mother. I'll go now. There shouldn't be two, Reyna. <laughs> I love the translation. <laughs> shouldn't be two, Reyna. Reyna, Reyna, take care of yourself. And come visit, so I'll know you're all right. Thank you, Mother. I'd like that.
Such a nice ending. Much better than that last one. You know, people disintegrating and all. 4,000 Drake. Cool. Cool. <laughs> this still happens. So I guess that's inevitable no matter what happens. <laughs> that's fine. Whatever. I don't mind if he disintegrates and she disintegrates. Yeah, they all disintegrate. Whatever. Disappearing from the timeline. They deserve it. I never liked them. Such a good game. And there you have it, folks. The bad ending and the good ending. Ending number one, clear. 96 victims. I like to consider them customers. <laughs> you got the Hell Emblem. Ooh. Ooh, bonus Drake, 50,000. The, the Hell Emblem, if I'm not mistaken, is similar to the Chaos Emblem, I think? In that it just kind of does random things. So I'm going to try that out in expert mode. All right, we're going to save here. But at least we've officially ended the game. We've ended the, the story campaign. So that's good. So yeah, we'll uh, jump into expert mode. Again, I don't know if I've ever played that before. So I'm curious what it's like. And are they going to let me create traps in this mode? Actually, oh, I see what it is. Okay, so basically, okay, so they give you a bunch of stages. Okay, so I was thinking it was the chapters from the storyline that you can play in any order, but no. It looks like just a bunch of different challenges. So, the first one is easy. Crush the enemy. <laughs> Intruder, soldier, castle training, training chamber, time limit, 30 seconds. So I have 30 seconds to kill the enemy. Easy enough. Uh, equipment. So can I make traps? It looks like it gives me the traps from the story mode that I've already created, but I don't see an option to create new traps. So, can I go into the story mode? Because I'd like to make a new trap. Mix things up a bit. Um, Alright, let me go into the story mode. Create a trap, then save? Wait. No, it's gonna make me start over. Never mind. Yeah, I don't I don't get that. So it only lets you use the traps that you've already made. You can't make new ones. So if I want to use my hell emblem, I guess I would have to go through the story mode again. Which I'm not gonna do right now. Maybe at some point point in the future, you never know. For now. Let's uh, see if we can go through these stages here. So they have more than 10? I don't know. Anyway, start off with one, because that makes sense. So I just have to kill this guy within 30 seconds. Should be easy enough. I imagine it's going to be a really easy introductory stage. Okay, so we'll do a classic combo here. I need to do it quick, so I'm going to do the Thunderclaw. Well, I can use the Cold Vacuum, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Do that, and we'll do the Flare Rock. Right here, and... Do the Chain Needle. Right here. Actually, I'll move the Flare Rock up a little bit. Up to here. That way the Chain Needle will push him up the stairs. I definitely do, don't have much time here. I have 19 seconds. I might be trying to be a little bit too elaborate. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Alright. Oh. 
all it took was the chain needle. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to be a little bit too elaborate there, but that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Overkill is fine. So I passed stage one. So I wonder if you unlock anything if you complete all the stages. Alright, I'm not going to bother saving after every single one. We'll just move on to stage two. Okay, so that one's checked off now. So make a 4 plus hit combo. Intruder Soldier. 40 second time limit. Okay. Should be easy enough. I mean, I can get a 4 hit combo with the chain needle by itself, so... Not really that difficult. But yeah. So this one, I think it said it was on the same stage. Yeah. So, we'll do the same thing. Cold vacuum. Chain needle here. We'll do the flare rock, even though the game will probably end right after the chain needle. Okay, there we go. Chain Needle, Flare Rock. That was an 8 hit combo right there, so... <laughs> okay, he's already dead. I, well, I guess he can't die, he just got right back up. So the only goal to that stage was getting a combo. I didn't actually have to kill him. Alright, cool. So these are starting off really easy, of course, to be expected. Make three core hits on one enemy. I assume that means I have to hit him in a certain spot, maybe in the chest or the stomach? I don't know. That's interesting. So, yeah, I would assume that means hit the enemy in the middle somewhere. <laughs> core hits. I think it does say when you hit the enemy where it hit them. I never really pay attention to that, but I guess I have to pay attention to it now. So let's do the Thunderclaw just to mix things up a bit. We're still going to do the same basic layout. i do the buzzsaw, but I think it would hit him in the legs. I mean, it's on the ground, so... Okay. Well, so would the flare rock, I suppose, but whatever. Alright, get into the Thunderclaw, please. I think I already got the three core hits. Eight combo, core hit. I don't even know what that means. It seems like everything that hit him was a core hit. So I have no idea. Well, I passed, so... <laughs> I may not know how I passed, but I passed. Can't complain. Alright, moving on to stage four, earn more than arc 500. Again... Should be pretty easy. I have a feeling I will probably unlock more stages after completing these first ten. Because these are still really, really easy. Okay, Flare Rock. We'll go on this side this time. Cold Vacuum. Chain Needle. I don't know if I'm able to go to a different room. There are doors, but I don't know if I can go out them. That door is locked. 
Ow. Alright, get him trapped in the ice, hit him with the flare rock. Okay, I still don't have enough arc. Failure? Oh, was there a time limit? I didn't even notice. Shoot. Okay. Oh, see, the thing is, the different traps have a different arc multiplier, so I should probably use the ones that have the highest. So the Thunderclaw would have a 1.3. That's the best out of those. Chain Needle has a 0. 0.5. Push wall, 1.3. I'm not going to use the magnet wall or the push wall. Can I get this over here, please? Thank you. See, these are all the same. 1.0. I'll do the buzz saw. Is that going to go over their head? I'll go this way, I guess. Yeah, there is a time limit. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, 299. That was pretty good. Okay, I got it this time. 629. Perfect. Okay, cool. Again, relatively easy. It's the only one I had to restart, though. Alright, stage five. Drive the enemy towards the doorway. Hmm, okay. So, I could... Hit him with a Thor hammer? That'll make him go flying towards whatever I want him to go flying towards. Alright, so I need to escort him to the door. <laughs> Easy enough. So I'll use my cold vacuum right here. And then I'll just use the Thor hammer. That should make him go flying out the door pretty much. This guy will actually come down here. Uh, hello? What are you doing? He's just gonna pace back and forth up there, really? Okay, fine. Uh, I guess I have to do it from up here. Uh, the Thor hammer, I don't think it's gonna work there. It's gonna get stuck in the wall. Uh, how am I going to do this? Hmm. I'll try it. I don't think it's going to work, though. Well, that's annoying. I'm going to run out of time before it recharges. There we go. Got him in that. Thor hammer. I'm gonna run out of time. Oh, it does work. I made him go flying towards the doorway. <laughs> I guess it wasn't far enough. I need to actually get him into the doorway. Alright, well at least I know he's not gonna follow me downstairs, so... So we're going to do the cold vacuum again. And the Thor hammer. Like that. I could do the chain... Uh, see, I don't think the chain needle... Oh, we'll go here. Oh, that's perfect. So I'll initiate the chain needle when he's down there. 
that might push him the rest of the way. Alright, come on, recharge. There we go. Get him with that. Hit him with the Thor hammer. Bam. Once he gets up, I'll hit him with the chain needle. That might not be enough. Uh, okay. Actually, I can put the cold vacuum in the doorway. That'll suck him right into the doorway. That'll work. Is he seriously going to go back up the stairs? He is. Come on. You cheapskate. Oh, you. Okay. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. If there wasn't the time limit, it wouldn't be so bad. Actually, will the vacuum floor actually... Hmm. I wonder if it'll pull him down there. No, it's not going to because of the, the railing there. Shoot. Uh, what I might be able to do... Actually, the Thor hammer has summoning on it, so I might not need the vacuum floor. So I'll just use that. Hopefully hit him with that. Do I have anything under here that might work? I do have a magnet wall. So if I use the magnet wall here, and then the Thor hammer should hit him down there. It hits him somewhere around here. So that'll push him a little bit farther. I don't know. I'll figure it out from there. Hopefully this will work. There we go. Vacuum floor. Alright, and... Can I put the Thor hammer? Yeah. That'll freeze him, and I just gotta wait for the Thor hammer, and hit him the rest of the way. Oh, come on, stay there, and do not get out of the way. Oh, come on, why did it hit him the other way? What's that trap there? I think that's a trap right here. Just on the bottom of the, the balcony. Man, this is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, I really have to think this through. So, I'm going to use the Thor hammer. That worked quite well. And the magnet wall. And the cold vacuum. Okay, I'm into the cold vacuum, and the hammer there, hopefully that'll recharge in time this time, which I can change this to a chain needle. Hit him with the chain needle, there we go. Oh, that wasn't enough. Come on, hit him into the door. Yes! I did it. Oh, finally. I like these stages. They're actually kind of fun. Very different. Not just trying to kill the enemy. Trying to do something else, like moving them to a certain spot. Really makes you think. See, normally I just think about crushing the enemy in creative ways. <laughs> Now I actually have a goal other than killing and smashing. Avoid all damage and crush the enemy. Okay, this one should be easy. So I can do anything I want. I just can't get hit. Sounds simple enough. Unless, of course, it's a ranged enemy. Oh, of course. Puts them right in front of you. Oh, that door is not open. Uh, hello? Oh, 
Uh, I think I won. <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I just I was just trying to get away from the guy. I triggered the trap. He happened to go in that room for some reason. I guess he was running away from me. <laughs> and it crushed him. Okay, then. I didn't even have to try for that one. Alright, what's this next one? Hit with room devices more than three times. Okay, so I have to use room traps. I can do that. Hello. Alright, so we got a buzz saw right there. What else we got? We have lumber saw, a pan, and we got the oven right there, topple prop, and a rota gear. The buzz saw is going to be the easiest thing to use, so we'll go with that. I think I'll use the Thunderclaw. And the Chain Needle. Well, see, I don't have to kill him. I just have to hit him with the Room Device three times. So that's not really going to help me. I'm just going to do the Bear Claw and the Hammer. That should do the trick. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, we went the wrong way. Come on. Uh, okay, I need to move the Thunderclaw. Can't set in device sight? What? I don't understand that. Okay. Can I hit him this way into it? Try that, I guess. Probably gonna end up running out of time, but whatever. There we go. That's one. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough time. Not nearly enough time. Shoot. Okay, I definitely have time to think about. Um. I'm gonna try the same thing. We'll see if, if I can do it really quickly. Actually, what I could do... If I use the cold vacuum... Then I could use the chain needle to push him into the saw. Maybe. Maybe, possibly. Stop doing that! Ugh. Laying out traps can be annoying sometimes. Oh, you... Get him into that. Ow. Ooh. He got hit with it. He ran right into it. That works. Probably still gonna run out of time here, but... Actually, what I could do is maybe hit him in it with the Thor hammer first. Then when he gets up, I can hit him with the chain needle. Assuming he stays right in front of the saw. No, he doesn't. Wait, I hit him twice. Why did it only count as once? Don't even tell me I have to use three different room devices. 
That would really suck. They don't give you nearly enough time to do that. Oh, this is not good. Uh, okay. I wonder if the fireplace would work better. Actually, that's a... Is that a topple column? No, it's just the wall clipping out. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that there. I'm gonna use the cold vacuum here. That should push him... The chain needle should be able to push him from there into the fireplace. And then I'll use the Thor hammer to push him back in after he gets out. I don't care. You can hit me all you want. You're still dead. Oh, but I forgot about the fact that it's probably going to... Did that push him into the fireplace? I couldn't see because I'm being sucked into my own vacuum. Apparently not. Uh, I don't like this challenge. I don't like it at all. Oh, come on. I don't know how come it didn't hit him into it. And the hammer hit him the other way anyway. Come on! Alright, I'm not doing this one again. I don't like this one. It sucks. Because apparently I have to hit him into three different traps anyway. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that in 50 seconds. It's impossible. I'm just going to go to stage 8. Finish with seal spear. What's a seal spear? Is that a room trap of some sort? I'm guessing it is, because I don't have a seal spear. Uh, let's see, room device. None of these are called a seal spear. Oh, there it is. I had to scroll down. What is it? Is it the thing hanging above the ceiling? Or on the ceiling? It's triggered by the yellow trigger up there. I don't know what it is though. I'm guessing it's the thing that's hanging from the ceiling next to the buzzsaw. Why is it called the seal spear? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> So, I guess we have to get them down below it. At least the cold vacuum. Right there. And uh, the buzzsaw. Does the buzzsaw move them? I don't think it does. I think they just stay in place. Which is what I want. I just want to finish them off with the seal spear. And I can't really use the chain needle, so... That's that. Ow. And I run right into the buzzsaw. <sighs> Alright, get over here, pal. Oh, jeez. Okay, I got him with that. Oh, come on. Can you... My vacuum has too big of a range. Hey, what's going on, Hunter? You have a whole eight shock tokens. Okay, get over there, please. There we go. And I ran out of time. Oh, I hate the timer. I really hate timers in any game. I don't want a timer. I like to take my time. 
Okay. Gonna do the same thing, except hopefully we'll execute it a bit better this time. Yeah, in expert mode they give you a timer. It's basically a challenge mode, where they challenge you to do various things. Like on this one, I have to finish him with this particular room trap. Okay, buzzsaw. Actually, I can use the chain needle to actually activate the room trap. So I'm going to try that. That way I don't have to step in it myself. I can just lure him into the trap. Can you stop shooting arrows at me? Oh, I did the panic vacuum. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. It works. Okay, Seal Spear is activated, and he's done. Yes! Okay, cool. Seal Spear is actually pretty cool. It's not really a spear, though. It's more of a... Uh, I don't know. A board with a bunch of spikes on it. An Iron Maiden that falls from the ceiling. Something like that. Make combo hit, including two plus room devices. Oh. I don't know about this one. I don't like being told what to do. I'm a very creative individual. I like to make my own combos. Having to use two room devices in my combo is not exactly what I want to do. So we have this thing, swings back and forth, and whatever that is. Room device, tumble prop. Oh, okay, so that's gonna fall down from the ceiling. Hmm. Well, I think I might have an idea. So. If I can, I think I want to use the Thunderclaw right in the path of this swinging pendulum. The pendulum should hopefully hit him somewhere parallel to that room trap there. And then maybe I can use, see I don't know where he's going to land, that's the problem. Well, let me get him into that, then figure out where I gotta put the next trap. See, the problem is I gotta time it right so that it hits him the right way, which I did not time it right. Actually, he's not in the right... Oh, wait, he is in the path. Okay. Alright, so right there is where I need to put the next trap. So, I guess I'll put a Thor hammer right there. But I need to keep my combo going, that's the problem. Ah, uh, chain needle? See, he's on the floor when he gets hit by that, so... Actually, what if I do a magnet wall? Hmm... It's not gonna reach him. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Oh jeez, uh, Thor hammer, buzzsaw, buzzsaw's not gonna work. Hmm. Try the magnet wall, but I don't think it's gonna reach him. Oh, and I can't put it on the switch either, so... Actually, if I hit him over there, it's gonna hit him right into the switch. Problem is, it's not going to keep the combo going. By the time he gets up, the combo's going to end. 
And I can't hit him on the ground with anything. Uh, um, I'm kind of at a loss here. I can hit him with a flare rock. The flare rock's very unpredictable, though, so I don't. I have no idea where he's gonna go. So the trigger for that is actually under it. All right, I need to restart this because nothing is charged. Timing this is not easy. I'm gonna run out of time anyway. Shoot. This is the only combination of traps that I can see working. It just has to work out perfectly. Because with that flare rock, it's gonna add an element of randomness to it. I don't know where I put that. Is it right here? Right here? I don't know. Ah, of course it hit him the wrong way. This is so difficult. There we go. And of course the flare rock's in the wrong spot. Man. Uh, oh wait, I hit him. But he went the wrong way, so it doesn't matter. All right, I'm gonna move the flare rock down one. It's gonna hit him the wrong way. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. Drop the flare rock on him. How did that miss him? See, and he went the wrong way again. I don't like this one. I'm not doing this one. It's so annoying. No. No. Ah. Uh, some of these are fun. Others are just frustrating. All right, we're gonna do stage 10, and this is gonna be it. Make a combo hit with 100 plus damage. That I can do. That I can do. I'm guessing it's probably not gonna unlock the next 10 stages, since I didn't complete everything. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. So I can do whatever I want this time. I just need to do 100 plus damage. That should be pretty darn easy. I'm gonna do the vacuum at the bottom of the steps. Flare rock at the top of the steps. And the chain needle right here. That should do the trick for sure. Until he freezes. Well, I didn't wait long enough, but whatever. Actually, he's gonna freeze anyway. Oh, I used the panic vacuum. Never mind. Did that do enough damage? Nope, it didn't. Why not? There's no way that didn't do 100 damage. Oh, okay. Success. It worked. That's weird. I did the same exact thing as I did last time. But for some reason, I didn't get success until the 
second attempt? I don't know. Unless I just had to wait till the timer ran out. I don't know. A success is a success. Doesn't really matter how I got it. Yeah, so it did not unlock anything new. And I'm not doing those other stages. <laughs> These two stages. Because they're annoying as anything. So yeah, I guess I'll just end the stream early today. Since we completed the storyline, we completed 8 out of 10 of the expert challenge stages, and I really have nothing else to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is it for Deception 3 Dark Delusion. Highly recommend this game if you've never played it before. It's so much fun. Any game in the, the, the Deception series is really, really good. They had... Well, actually, I've never played Deception 1 and 2, so I don't know how those are. Deception 3, I think, is considered the best one on the PlayStation 1. And it's the last game that came out on the original PlayStation. There's also Trapped on the PlayStation 2, which is a lot of fun as well. And there's Deception 4? I think it's called Deception 4, or Deception 5, one of the two. It's on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, and PlayStation 4, I think. And that's fun as well. This is my favorite in the series, but they're all really, really fun. But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this live stream. Uh, the next time I stream on Retroshock, I will probably be finishing up Labyrinth on the Commodore 64. That's the plan, anyway. But yeah, my next live stream is going to be on Dreamcastic Channel, as usual, on Friday. We'll be playing some Worms World Party. And uh, I will also be starting a new game on Monday on Dreamcastic Channel. Um, which is a game I keep forgetting the name of. <laughs> it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a Diablo-like RPG for the Dreamcast. So I figured I'd do that and play through the entire thing on a live stream. Looking forward to trying that out. Looks really fun. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.